Hey there, YouTube. Welcome to what is the first ever episode of Ghost Divers Collectibles. And the first ever Ghost Divers video ever. This is kind of exciting and even a little bit awkward. But today, I felt like trying to make this video as kind of a test video to test out the new tripod, test out the lighting, the filming, all of that. And also because I managed to find some very strange products. Now these might not be strange to you, but I have never seen these before. I managed to find them in my local Big W for 13 Australian dollars each, which for a product that contains three booster packs is very, very cheap. If this is going to focus, it would be very helpful. There we go, so three packs. There are a Typhlosion one, and there's also a Meganium one. I managed to get one Typhlosion, three Meganiums. Um, I don't know what packs are in here, probably nothing too crazy, uh, but let's open them up, see what we find, and uh, yeah, hopefully no Steam Siege, that would be the main one to avoid. <laughs> I Yeah, I, I don't know what to expect, I think I'll open these up, bring the packs out, and then cut back. Just open the first one up, and uh, it looks like our worst fear has come true, Steam Siege times two, and a Fates Collide. So, uh, not the greatest selection of packs, but eh, for $13, what do you expect? So I'm gonna pop those there, take that out. Let's see if we can get our Typhlosion out. No code card for this either, which is a little unusual. Usually there's a code card, but at least uh, Typhlosion is quite pretty. It's got that nice sparkle. I don't know if you can see that in the camera. I miss that sort of holofoil. I wish, uh, they would keep making those ones. Uh, the other ones, I'll try and open this here. The other ones had a lot of sticky tape, so I uh, didn't want to um, open that on camera, but I realized it's actually not so bad. Um, another two Steam Siege, Fates Collide. Oh, well, <laughs> again, about what you expect. Uh, let's have a look at Meganium. Meganium is, ooh, look at that, that nice little swirl there. <laughs> always love seeing those. The swirls are always very pretty. Uh, let's keep going. Open them all up. I think they're pretty much all going to be Steam Siege and Fates Collide, which is quite disappointing, in all honesty. Both X and Y packs for a product that just came out. Um, oh, hang on a minute. These are different, or at least one of them is different. It's a Sun and Moon. Again, it's a bit of an older pack, but uh, nothing wrong with that. And um, here we go, another Meganium. Nothing special there, same as before. The other one had a bit nicer pattern in the hollow. Let's get all this rubbish out of the way. Really nice to do. And the very last one of these. Just try to tear right into that. And looks like we got another Sun and Moon pack, so. Uh, Hell of a lot of Steam Siege. And, uh, looks like another Meganium, which, of course, we knew we were getting because it was on the front of back. So, how should we do this? I think let's get the worst part of this out of the way and crack into this unfortunately large stack of Steam Siege packs. Uh, so, without further ado, we've got our first. Steam Siege, to crack on into. Oh, well, it's not exactly how you want to start things off. I'm going to keep the codes for the moment. Uh, if you'd like me to share them in the future, please comment below. We will see what we can do. But for the moment, I am using them. But we'll see. So we've got a Lampent, Harlucha. This is actually kind of cool. It's been a while since I've opened these older packs. Tango with Tangela, Dino, Chimchar, I'll try and get these closer up to the camera for you, Rufflet, Shellos, a Reverse Clink, and a regular rare Armaldo. Nothing too crazy there. Let's go with another Steam Siege. I guess even for Steam Siege, I'd like to see some Ultra Rares. Would be uh, pretty nice. So, I'll just take the code card away on the side here, not reveal the color have some suspense left here. Alright. Lamp Hent. 
Let's see, Primo Focus. Lampard again. Ooh, Shiny Azuril. I did like that about Steam Siege. You did get the Shiny cards. I'm going to pop that one to the side there. Special Charge. Mareep. Looking very cute. <laughs> Bergmine. I always forget about that Pokemon. Cute little Clay Fungus. Joltik. Litwick. Ooh, we got a break. Now, that is not bad. A break Pyroar. I forgot about those. And. Among Us, another regular rare, but that's a pretty nice break card. I don't know if I've got that one, actually. I'll have to have a look after this. Sorry if the commentary is a little lacking. This is my first time recording something like this, and uh, just let me know what you think. I mean, this is, like I said, it's a bit of a test, bit of an experiment. I don't know if I'll be able to do this regularly, but I do buy a lot of... Pokemon card products, and I figure I might as well share the fun. Sorry, they did not want to come out of that pack. But uh, here we go. Braviary, that's a nice artwork. Nuzleaf, Rapidash, Litwick, Hopip, that's cute. Dino, Litleo, Nosepass, a Reverse Yen Mega, which is a rare, that's good. And Gastrodon. I remember that Gastrodon. Had a lot of that card. <laughs> now, um, also, while we're on the subject of this weird, weird product, probably don't buy this <laughs> unless you really want a lot of Steam Siege packs. Uh, I didn't know what to expect. In the back of my mind, I was thinking, yeah, it's, it's a, probably a lot of Steam Siege. <laughs> but, um, you know, I saw them there, and they only had four, and I just really needed to know what was in them, because I'd never seen anything like this before. You know, you usually get all the normal tins and stuff. Oh, that is a reverse holder, so that actually looks pretty nice as a reverse. And holographic shift tree. That's pretty nice. I did like the dual types. Dual types were a very cool addition in this set that they did not continue. I think it was only in this one set. Uh, which was a bit unusual, but again, it had shinies and it had dual types, so Steam Siege doesn't get a lot of love, but uh, it did have some cool things going for it. We have not yet got any ultra rares. We've got one hollow and one break. I, is a break an ultra rare? I don't think so. It's got Ambipalm, Krogunk, Mareep, Litwick, Hoppip, Meowth, Jumpluff Reverse, which is a rare. And, ooh, there we go, ask and you shall receive Magirna EX. And yes, it's an EX, not a GX, because it's a bit older. It is very, very, very miscut. You can see the, the bottom is much bigger, and so is the, the left-hand side. But, not bad. I don't think I've got this card, so that's a nice one for the collection. And uh, don't worry, I've got sleeves here. Just uh, to the side, I'll sleeve them all up later. So we don't waste any more time than we already have wasted. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. That's one ultra rare. Out of all these packs, I would hope for a little bit better than that. But let's see. Still early. Still got a Fates Collide. Special Charge. Nidorino. Cool artwork. Zuilos. Rufflet. Tangela. Krogunk. Marip. Litwick. Rufflet and Nidoking. I always really enjoyed that artwork. That was a very cool Nidoking. Uh, which is just a regular rare. No problems there. Let's get on to our Steam Siege. Steam Siege is very interesting to me. Uh, <laughs> no. But, uh, you know, if you want to make conversation, there's always a way to do that. <laughs> now I just sound like a total... Weirdo. Oh dear. No. Captivating Pokepuff. Lampant again. Holucha again. Clink again. Joltik again. Ponyard. There's a new guy. Fungus. Rufflet. Larvesta. That's a cool Pokemon. And Ampharos, which is a hollow. I almost couldn't tell, but it is a holographic card. Very pretty. I always like that artwork. So we've got two hollows so far. One ultra rare and one shiny. Not like the shinies from Hidden Fates, though, is it? 
not quite that cool, but it's still very cool. So we're up to the last Steam Siege pack. That is a good thing, in my opinion. It's time to get this over with and move on to some more interesting packs. Uh, are they really that interesting, though? Well, you be the judge. I particularly would have more fun with Hidden Fates, but I'm still enjoying this. It's an unusual thing, and these are kind of vintage packs now. I mean, they're pretty old, you know. You don't see them in the store. Oh, Ninja Boy, that's new. You don't see them in the store, so they're rare. <laughs> if you want to look at the positive side, which is always a good thing to do. So we've got Gonivore, Spirit Link, and can we end with an ultra rare? Amoongus. But it is pretty cool. I mean, look at that sunset. He's pretty cool. I don't mind Amoongus. Gonivore, Spirit Link as a reverse is pretty nice, too. But we're up to the last four packs. Sun and Moon and Fates Collide. Let's keep going with X and Y. It's actually pretty cool that we're up to the first Sun and Moon base set, because we are almost up to the very last Sun and Moon set. I think it's coming out in Japan uh, very soon, if it's not already out. Oh no, it is already out. It's that compilation set. The gold Charizards and the gold uh, Mewtwo, if you haven't seen that. Uh, you should definitely check it out. They are very cool. I don't think I'll be opening them, and I don't think they'll be coming to English, but it would be cool. So, Team Rocket's Handiwork, that's a cool card. Fairy Garden, Brexen, Cutney, Riolu, Gothita, Wismer, Minchino, Helix Fossil Omnite, and do we have a Genesect? Genesect, Genesect. I think Genesect's better. Genesect Ultra Rare EX. I don't think I've got this particular one. This is very cool. So, that is another EX card. What do you guys think? Do you prefer EXs or do you like GXs better? I at first thought the GXs looked a little funny, but you know, now that I look back at it, they are really cool. We've got some new ones coming out. We've got V cards, which is interesting. We've got, um, I think, Zassian and... Is that his name? Zassian? I'm not sure. <laughs> haven't played Sword and Shield yet. They're not out just yet, but soon. Chingino, Helix Fossil, Wigglytuff, Jigglypuff, Gothitoff, Meowth, Snivy, Solosis, Moltres. Now that is cool artwork. Look at that. The shape of all the, uh, the mounds, it almost looks like some sort of Inca drawing. So cool. That's a good reverse to get. And a Marowak. That's a cute little Marowak. Don't mind a cute little Pokemon. So, we got one so far out of each pack. Can we get a GX? out of either of these Sun and Moon packs. So we got a uh, Lunala and Incineroar artwork. Let's start with the Incineroar. Leave the legend to last. All right. Oh, Pukyu Mukyu. This is one of my favorite Pokemon from Sun and Moon. He's so cute. And I love the noise he makes in the game. Zip, 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 zip. <laughs> Something like that. Uh, Big Melisada, Brion, Crabrawla, Marini, Alolan Diglett, Dewpider, Alolan Meowth, Chargebug, oh, I think I did the card trick wrong, it's four from the back, and a Masquerade, so nothing too interesting there, and yes, Water Energy. So, gonna remember it's four from the back for the Sun and Moon sets. Can we end with a Hollow, or, um, shout out to Cyber Knight, <laughs> can we end with... An ultra rare would be a better ask than any of the hollows. Ooh. You didn't see that because it's off camera, but I think we might have something pretty nice in here. I saw a little shine down the side. Ooh, it's exciting. Granbull, Metapod, Lily. I like Lily. She's a very cute card. The one from Ultra Prism, I would definitely like to pull that. Drowsy, having a nice walk on the beach. Cutify, Skarmory. Bound Sweet, a Lowland Diglett, Skarmory, and a Gumshoes, GX Hyper Rare. My goodness, look at the shine on that. I mean, it's a Gumshoes, but it's a Hyper Rare. <laughs> oh, I can't stop looking at it. That's pretty. For, for these products... You know, even if it's a gumshoes, that is cool. It's a hyper rare. And I do so like a hyper rare. And a grass energy. So I, I even stuffed up the card trick, even though I, I said it out loud. 
All right, so that is gumshoes. Very nice. All right, so that's the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, like I said, this is my first ever video for YouTube. Welcome to Ghost Ibis once again. I'll try to probably post more content on this channel, seeing as I buy a lot of products. We've got some more Hidden Fate stuff coming in, the Ultra Ball, Great Ball, Hidden Fate, Big Box collection, and the Ultra Premium collection should be coming out in the next month or two, and uh, those will definitely be getting opened up, um, and those will be uh, pretty exciting, I think, getting all those Hidden Fates packs. I've opened up a lot of Hidden Fates packs. Still a lot of beautiful, shiny Pokemon to look for, but uh, we'll see how we go. And uh, thanks for watching. If you'd like to subscribe, feel free. Although at this point, I don't blame you if you don't, <laughs> being the first video. But uh, yeah, feel free to check back sometime, and I hope you guys have enjoyed. And uh, I hope to be making more content soon. Also, if you're interested, check out my other channels, which definitely don't have anything on them yet, but uh, possibly in the future soon. Ghost Divers, the main channel, which is going to be for things like movie reviews, uh, possibly game reviews, not really sure yet on that, but uh, definitely movie reviews. My second channel, Ghost Divers Anime, which is, as the name would suggest, all things anime. A lot of anime reviews. And uh, this channel, Ghost Divers Collectibles, is going to be for Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, and other anime, probably figures and things like that, knickknacks that I buy, that uh, I would like to share with you guys. <laughs> Uh, so that's what that this channel's for, and uh, there's a fourth channel that I'm not really sure about yet, Ghost Divers Voices, just a little space to practice some voiceover things, uh, not sure what that one's going to entail just yet, but uh, we will see, so thanks for watching once again, you have seen the very first Ghost Divers video, so if in five years i've got more than two subscribers you'll see where it all began right here <laughs> all right peace out thanks for watching